scandal. You know, it's not very hard to find instances of scandal within the Catholic Church, whether it's clergy, lay people, you know, we are broken human beings and it's not surprising that there would be scandal and not just the Catholic Church, but any denomination, any organization, school system, Boy Scouts, karate class, you name it, you're going to find instances of scandal. And the Christian life is quite paradoxical. Jesus preaches something pretty drastic and um, controversial when he says we should pray for our enemies. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Jesus says to pray for those who persecute you. And the second reading this weekend talks about these scandalous people and it's not as though we can shun them out and shut the door and be done with them, but that we need them. In actuality, we need them. The second reading says it like this. The eye cannot say to the hand, I do not need you. Nor again, the head to the feet, I do not need you. We need each other. We need each other. And, you know, scandal is going to always be in the church. And woe to the person whom scandal finds. Jesus said it would be, you know, better for them perhaps to have a big heavy rock roped around their neck and thrown into the bottom of the sea. <laughs> and when it comes to scandal, you know, Pope Benedict XVI had something very poignant to say about this. And he says, what must be done? Perhaps we should create another church for things to work out. Well, that experiment has already been undertaken and has already failed. Only obedience and love for our Lord Jesus Christ can point the way. And it's obedience to God's law that Psalm 19 this weekend is calling us to observe. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Obedience to God's law and following the example of Jesus, obedient even to the point of death, death on a cross, as St. Paul tells us. So this is Psalm 19. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The fear of the Lord is 
is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Spirit and of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you O Lord my rock and my redeemer